just looking around, I already, I already have a bigger crowd than I expected. <laughs> so thank all of you that are here on this Christmas Eve. The weather is uh, frightful, as the song goes. But thank you so much for um, daring to come out and spend your evening with us. Um, as we get started this evening, I just want to mention, if, um, if you did not know or weren't aware of um, our Christmas offering has been out for uh, a little while, <clears throat> excuse me, but we will do a retiring offering as you leave the um, service this evening. So with that, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you this evening for the opportunity to be together as a church family, Lord, as a body of Christ, to celebrate the truth of the Christmas season, Lord, the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ. As we're gathered here this evening for this purpose, Lord, let us constantly be reminded of your promise, of your redemptive plan, Lord, of your awesome gift of grace and salvation, in so much as you chose to come to earth and chose to be born as a baby, Emmanuel. God with us, to connect with us, and to redeem us. Lord, we ask your blessings this evening as we worship and praise you on this Christmas Eve and pray that your Holy Spirit would move among us, Lord, that it would transform us and help us to simply focus more on you tonight in this very moment on this coming Christmas Day and throughout this entire Christmas season. Lord, we give thanks in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. And now, if you join us, you're welcome to stand, please, and join us in singing, O Come, All Ye Faithful. Well, at this time, you may be seated. I'm going to ask my sister, Tricia Barnes, is going to share with us our special music this evening.
Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem, in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will be the shepherd of my people, Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and make a careful search for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star that they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and they worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and pre presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. As I mentioned just last Sunday, the Magi studied the word. They saw the signs. They sought Christ. And they found him in Bethlehem. They prepared. They actively searched. And they found the Christ child away in a manger. Matthew says that they followed his star. Not, a, not just any star, his star. And then fell down and worshipped him. Bearing gifts. As we sing together, it came up on a midnight clear. I ask you to reflect on that. And ask yourself tonight, this Christmas season, if you're willing. If you're willing to prepare and to seek and to find him. If you do. Will you worship him and will you give your gifts to him? You may be seated. Chapter 2, verses 1 through 14. We're not gonna In those days, though, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And the angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. 
But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Christ, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. Amen. Good tidings of great joy will be to all, to all the people. This is the greatest story ever told, and it all began on Christmas. He came just as he said he would come. He came just as he said he would, a Savior, Christ the Lord. And he came for all of us. Again, Emmanuel translates it literally means God with us. Now, we're not going to make you stand and sit for each of these songs. So you're off the hook the rest of the way. But as we get ready to sing Hark the Herald Angels Sing, let's rejoice as if we were that multitude of the heavenly host. Glory to God in the highest, they said, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. John chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. There came a man who was sent from God. His name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all men might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, But his own did not receive him. Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descendant, nor of human decision, or of a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Let's pray. Lord, in in a season when every heart should be happy and and light, Lord, many of us are struggling. We're struggling with the heaviness of life, burdens that steal joy right out, right out from our Christmas stockings. Lord, we need your peace. We not only need your peace and joy, Lord, we we crave it. You've promised rest for the weary, victory for those scarred by battle, Lord, peace for the anxious, and acceptance for those who feel separated, Lord, acceptance for the brokenhearted. 
and not just at Christmas, but every day. Lord, in this world where worry, not peace, prevails, we pray tonight that you would stir up your good news. This Christmas Eve, Lord, make it real in our hearts. Never have we needed your love and your hope and your joy and your peace more than today, more than this evening, Lord, more than right now. Thank you for your gift, Jesus, our Emmanuel, Lord God with us. The word become flesh. Forgive us for forgetting that your love never changes, Lord, that it never fades, and that you have never, will never abandon the purpose for which you came, to save us from our own sin and to give us eternal life. Lord, the joy of relationship with a holy and righteous God. Your birth and your death, Lord, seals that promise to us forever. This evening, remind us that you are still our joy, still our peace. You're no longer a babe in the manger. Praise God. You're the Lord of lords and the King of kings. And we celebrate you as Lord. Lord, this Christmas, tonight, and forevermore. In your precious and holy name we pray. Amen. If I think for just a second, in Austin's reading just a moment ago, in particular, as he was talking about Jesus, in the words of John, as the light of men. Think about that for just a moment. The light of men, specifically in verses 5 and 9. It read, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Does that sound familiar? Does that sound like the world that we live in? His light shines in the darkness, and the darkness does not comprehend it. He goes on, he says, about Jesus' light. That, Jesus' light, that was the true light, which gives light to every man coming into the world. Those are two extremely, incredibly awesome verses. As Michelle starts to play Silent Night, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and stand. I'm going to ask Katie to bring the house lights down. And I'll ask you to light your tea lights. Stand up with me. To illustrate this point and perhaps this Christmas Eve tonight we'll let the darkness within our own hearts finally comprehend him comprehend the true light a true light that gives light to every man this Christmas Eve I hope you find peace.
Shout, shout for joy. The whole earth and everything within rejoice for light has come into the world. The mountains sing, the seas resound to the praise of your name. Salvation once promised is here on earth. Lord, the angels' song ring in the air. The child has been born. Hallelujah. The Savior of the world is here. Emmanuel, God, with us. Lord, as we pray together now, as you taught us to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. on that's why I turned it off <laughs> oh I apologize folks listen I thank you for coming out tonight and I hope you have a blessed and wonderful Christmas tomorrow but first be safe going home this evening be careful let me pray with you one last time dear Heavenly Father I thank you for this evening I thank you for this time together as a church family Lord as a body of Christ I just pray that you'll be with us Remind us what the season is about if we, as we leave here to be with our families. Lord, we love you and praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Good night. God bless you. Yes, and I better see all of you tomorrow at 10 o'clock.